Yo, we got another top 10 comics to buy to improve your comic book collection. Stay through the whole thing. There are some really good books in this one. All right, let's go. Are you ready for this sickness? Let's get into it. <laughs> Hey guys, so super excited. Another top 10 comics to buy to improve your comic book collection. Uh, I think pretty much all of these will definitely improve your collection and help it grow very nicely. Now the grades are gonna be all different. This is number 10. The prices will all be different from 10 to one, depending, usually one's the highest or more expensive. But in regard to grades and all that, it just depends. So the first book we got here is All New Wolverine, number one, in a 9-2. You can find these at your comic book stores uh, most of the time. I, I love the cover. It's got her in her, like, kind of debuting her in her Wolverine costume. Like, you know, like the classic Wolverine costume. I love the cover. It, for my research in a near mint minus looking at 10 bucks, I think that's a steal. Um, there's variants as well, too. I checked out those J. Scott Campbell variants. They used to be so expensive, but now they're reasonably priced. You might want to look at those, too. So let's move on to number nine. Okay, you can also find these at your comic book stores pretty much all the time. I usually, if they're in high grade, I usually buy them. Uh, Web of Spider-Man, number one. I love that cover. I think it's a pain like an actual painted cover, painting. Um, and I think, what is it? Amazing Spider-Man, Spectacular Spider-Man, and then I think Web of Spider-Man might be the third series. Uh, but this is the number one. And uh, in a 9-4 near mint condition, you're looking at about 25 bucks. Now, the, you might be able to get them for cheaper, but you should be able to find these in your comic shop. And again, like I said, we're going from uh, lowest to highest. But these are great books. I always pick them up. All right, let's move on to number eight. Okay, number eight, we have Spider-Gwen number one. Now, April, there's a lot of different Spider-Gwens that are all close to the same time. But April 2015, I believe it is, is her first titled series, Spider-Gwen. This isn't a near mint plus nine six or better, um, but I'm pointing this one out exclusively, the Phantom variant. They're selling around 30 bucks. This is a great cover to have. Of course, it's a homage to Amazing Spider-Man 300. And Spider-Gwen, again, is the future of, you know, comics um, and very beloved character. And this is just one of those great covers. They have multiple variants of like different colors of this, but this is one of my favorite ones. So you can probably pick it up for pretty reasonable on eBay if you're interested in a high grade. Spider-Gwen, number one, the Phantom variant. Okay, let's move on to number seven. In number seven, we have Sensational She-Hulk, number 34. This is like a homage cover to Demi Moore's, I think it's Vanity Fair, John Byrne cover. It was on the wall, I had to get it. Um, just a classic cover. Like she said, <laughs> the Demi Moore was she was pregnant, I believe. Um, but this is like she's holding a beach ball. Um, pretty nice looking cover, to be honest. In a near mint minus or nine two, you're looking at around thirty bucks. And these are sought after. You, I pretty much would guess that you could find it in your in a back issue bin. But this is one of those books that if you see it, try to pick it up if you can get it for a good price. Um, I think we're at number, we're going to number six. Okay, at, at number six, we have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 51. This is the first appearance of Jenica. Now, in 95, she becomes the next turtle, the fifth turtle, um, female turtle. And so this would be her first appearance, not as a turtle, but her first appearance. Now, I have this one at about a VF. 8-0. Um, you're looking at about 40 bucks, but these can get pretty expensive. Now, I have found out that this is a error printing 
typing error. It does not look like the normal cover. It's missing yellow and greens. So I'm gonna be sending this in. I got confirmation from Steve Barack that it isn't sun damage. It's an actual error. So in this grade, an error, I've never seen one before anywhere. Um, could be, I could maybe name my price. I don't know yet. I'm sending it off to get graded, but definitely look for, you know, check Google this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number uh, 51 and check what it looks like. And if you see one that looks like this in the wall, pick it up, pick it up. So that was your number six. Let's move on to number five. Okay, at number five, we have Silver Surfer, number 44. Now, this book was a lot more expensive when Endgame and Infinity War and all that was going on because this is the first appearance of the Infinity Gauntlet. Um, I still think it has value long-term. In a 9.6 at current market, near mint plus, like on eBay, etc., you can probably get them for about 45 bucks. I remember when I was paying 100 bucks for these. Um, I know they dropped, but right now I think it might be a good time to pick it up. Um, great book, First Infinity Gauntlet, Silver Surfer, number 44. All right, let's keep going. Most of these comics that I'm showing you guys are pretty dang affordable. I mean, this is good stuff for long-term spec hold. Um, it, it's going to increase. And this one was really amazing to me. Uh, the first ongoing solo series and, of course, the view of the black costume, Wolverine number one. These, these, I couldn't lock down a real, real price on eBay. Uh, they were all over the place. So I would say in a 9.6 Newman Plus, you're looking 80 or more. Um, these are usually $100 books all day now in a high grade. Um, this one just happens to be signed by Len Wayne and Herb Trent, creators of Wolverine. They're no longer with us. And Chris Claremont, who wrote the story. Uh, but one of my favorite covers of all time. And if you're lucky, you can get them at your comic book store for a decent price. But there's nowhere except up for this book. Um, we're getting into the next kind of big dogs, so I think we have three left. Let's keep on moving. Okay, at number three, we have Conan the Barbarian, number 24. This one's in a near mint minus, or nine to con condition. Uh, it's definitely the first cover appearance of Red Sonia, uh, but they like it, most of the time they say second appearance of Red Sonia, but this is the first cover appearance. Now this book seems to be going up in value over the last six months, in my mind. Um, you're looking in this grade about a near mint, my, um, sorry, about 120 bucks. It's interesting. She's got like a furry outfit on. Um, it doesn't normally look like that, I don't think. But that's the first time she appears on the cover. It's signed by Roy Thomas, who wrote the book. But um, I, I think it's a great book to pick up. Look for it. It's one of those keys that you want to get. Conan the Barbarian, number 24. Okay, let's move on to number two. At number two this week, we have Joker number one. This is the first ongoing solo series. I have watched this book grow over time, and I've had it for a long time. Classic book, Joker number one. In a near mint condition, 9-4, you're looking at about $140. Um, this one happens to be signed by Danny O'Neill. I saw him last year. Unfortunately, he just passed away. Um, I got to talk to him for a little bit. They gave him the key to the city. It was very interesting. What This is such a great book, and I've seen it rise in value. It's just one of those books that's going to keep going up. The Joker, number one. Okay, we're on to the number one. I hope you guys are enjoying these. Number one's coming next. 
and uh, I'll keep doing them. I love you guys. So let me know in the comments how you're feeling about it. So let's get to number one. Okay, this is for you hardcores out there. Silver Surfer number four, the original series. The classic cover. Now, this is the first time Silver Surfer and Thor, I believe, fight or meet. Um, second appearance of Mephisto. So this is a double key, but this cover has been homaged a million times. For example, um, because it's such a classic piece of work. For example, the Thor number six from Comic Silly just came out by Kyle Hotz. It's got Black Winter and Black Silver Surfer Black on the cover. It's sold out in minutes. This thing's sick, dude. But of course, this is the original. Now, in this grade, about a 5 0, very good to find, you're looking at about 400 bucks. Um, this book is. Not only is it sought after, I believe it's rare like a low print of it, kind of like a scarce comic. So if you see it and you're a big time collector and you're looking for the goods, this is it. This is one of those books you gotta try to get. Silver Surfer number four, classic cover. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna add a link at the end of this video for another top 10 video I did. So if you wanna just keep watching them and rolling into another and another, you can do that. And we'll see you next week for another top 10 comics divide to improve your comic book collection. Long-term spec, not the quick flip that dumps. Love you guys. Stay sick.